Good morning, everyone. This is Troy Smiller. Come back at you with yet another. Let's try. I'm still. I. I'm. I. I don't know if I'm still sick. I think I'm getting better. Um. Either. Either like the. Uh. Either the. Uh, the. Decongested the the Sudafed I took last night is still kicking ass, or I am actually getting better because I can breathe through my nose pretty well at the moment. At least enough where I should be able to taste the item on today's docket. But ba ba dots. So, what are dots? Dots are like little juju bees. I think that's what they're called. Um, I I always just saw dots. I never saw the other one, the other kind. Um, they're kind of a cheap candy, which you can kind of tell given that they're made by the Tootsie Company. But I always had a nostalgia for them because, like, you'd get them in the theater in these th theater boxes, or you'd get little packs of them under your Halloween candy. Now, there are two flavors here the cherry and green apple, and lime and strawberry. Now, I would have gone with cherry and lime because cherry lime made. But, now, here, I guess it kind of turns into a mystery contest, doesn't it? Because I don't know which one's which. I mean, it tastes good, but I think it's lime because I am detecting some of those, like, bitter sour notes that lime is known for. So, I believe that was a green top one, so let's try a red top one. The cherry was very prevalent in that one, um, so I'm pretty sure that was the cherry and the green apple. Now let's try the two together. They look like earplugs. Am I going to the shooting range? And that is the flavor of dots right there. Um, when you eat like a bunch of them together and there's just a cacophony of fruity notes, it's like eating fruity pebbles or fruit loops or something like that where it's just like, it just becomes generic fruit flavoring. Uh, I'm gonna pause a second, I gotta blow my nose quick. There's still some like high notes, I guess you'd call it. That I don't get when my taste when I, when my taste buds have dumbed down, but I think they are waking up again. Like flavor for cherry is so powerful that I can taste it with my adult senses, but at the moment. It's more just like savory, sweet, salty, sour. You know what I mean? Mm. I tell you though, it's taking a lot of uh, it's taking a lot of um. Ooh, we got a beat up one here. Taking a lot of uh, restraint not to like just pound these back. But I must resist. I talked a lot about how my mom was a big believer in lemonade and stuff. She also believed in clear soda. No, my dad was, but my dad's thing was clear soda, I think. Um, ugh, I love Dutch Trail. Mm. And ginger's good for you. This is made with real ginger, right? Ginger extract, okay.
it's burning my throat a little more than usual with the carbonation, but I gotta get the next thing. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um, I thought I I thought I left it in the other room. I did have it with me, but uh, uh, Ghirardelli white chocolate sugar cookie things. I'll only try a couple of these as well. Because white chocolate is so rich. <clears throat> you know, you always think they're going to be bigger than they are. But then again, given how much I suffered the last time I had these, maybe that's not a bad thing that they're smaller than I think. Ooh. Oh, it's got cookie crumble in it. Oh. Damn it. This is a fancy version of a Hershey's Cookies and Cream, and I love it. You bastard, white chocolate is supposed to be bad. How dare you, Ghirardelli? How dare you make good white chocolate? Hmm. That didn't even occur to me that it'd be a cookies and cream thing until I saw the bottom here. Cause like these, these could just be sprinkles, but this the 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 distinct lumpiness of there being the things in here, little pockets of crunchy cookie. Mm. Mm. Tray magnifique. These are going to be dangerous to keep around. I mean... Good lord, I can even taste a little bit of saltiness in here. Which, like, every good sugar cookie recipe has just a little bit of salt in it. Um, you know, because you want that little depth of flavor. A little salt can help accentuate it. Mmm. And then the green and red sprinkles, uh, very creamy white chocolate, which I always wondered, what is the flavor of white chocolate? I mean, my first thought is like, it's obviously some kind of like fondant thing. Oh, it's a I saw a dot lodge in my teeth. I was like, why is there why, why is there soft texture here? really good it's like I don't know what else to tell you it's like it's just a better version of an existing thing now is it worth the jump up in price maybe not but if you're giving gifts and you have someone that you know likes the cookies and cream candy bar this might be a good idea for them That was very good. Good job, Ghirardelli. Way better than your pumpkin spice caramel chocolates. 
Well, anyway, I think that's going to be it for me today. Um, given that I'm already on the mend, I'm going to try to start planning my, uh, my thing, my, my special again. The only reason why I even made a big deal of, of it in the first place was the last time I got sick. I was sick for two weeks at least. And I was worried that this would be with me into the new year. But if I'm already feeling better, then I should be okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta clean my room and do laundry. It's my Sunday. Y'all have got the Stress Miller. I'm Audi.